The truth about cloud wheels and cloud wheel donuts. Are they as good as people say they are? Are they as bad as people say they are? I'm gonna tell you. When it comes to cloud wheels, I'm not sure why, but there's a lot of hyperbole. Some people really love them and say that they're really, really great wheels, and some people really hate them. Some people say that they're good for nothing. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about why the cloud wheels were made and what they're good for and what they're not good for. And then you can decide for yourself if you should get them. So why were cloud wheels made? When cloud wheels first came out, they came out with 120 millimeters. That's a very uncommon size. So most wheels for electric skateboards, they're about 90 millimeters. Some are a little bit smaller, some are a little bit bigger. And then there are the all-terrain wheels, the uh, pneumatic tires. Those tend to be around like 165, 175, around there, like much bigger. So when cloud wheels came out with 120, it was kind of like something in between, between the all-terrain wheels and the 90 millimeter street wheels. Actually, before cloud wheels, these wheels were available from Slick Revolution. They were the exact same thing and people really liked them. And then I wonder if the factory started selling them under their own brand, Cloud Wheel. So compared to all-terrain wheels, are they good for off-roading? Not really, but are they better than the 90 millimeter longboard wheels for off-roading? In that case, yes, they are better than that. So they're kind of in between. Are they as good as the 90 millimeter street wheels for things like acceleration and range? No, they're not, but they're better than the all-terrain wheels when it comes to acceleration and range. Again, they're kind of in between. So the people who really love these wheels, I've seen them say stuff like, these wheels make you feel like you're riding on clouds. I don't really agree with that. I've also seen people say that these wheels have really good grip. I also don't agree with that. And on the negative side, there was a time when um, some people were saying that there were not exactly cracks, but there were like hairline fractures in the cores and people were concerned about that. I haven't heard about that recently, so I guess that seems to have been fixed and then the other thing i hear people say is that these wheels are really slippery like the grip is really not good in my opinion the grip's okay the grip is not great for sure but it's not terrible either in my opinion i mean it depends on what you're after so let me give you my opinion on what these wheels are best for. So these wheels, that includes the donuts, they're best for people coming from urethane wheels, like for example, the 90 millimeter urethane wheels. If you feel that your ride is too bumpy or th there's too much road vibration, these are gonna make your ride feel more comfortable. Now there are other wheels that are soft and around this size. For example, there are some like rubber wheels that are much softer than these. So why should you get these instead of the rubber wheels? I don't care which one you get, by the way. I mean, get whatever you want, but I just want to tell you why some people may want to get these. These wheels are not as soft as the rubber wheels that are around the same size. I've measured the durometer of these wheels myself. Depending on where I measure it, I would get around 75 to 80 A. Let's just call it high 70s. So these wheels, they're not super soft, but they're definitely not hard either. The reason that they feel soft is partly because of the narrow contact patch. So if you look at the wheel from the side, you can see that the contact patch is rounded. So really only the middle part is touching the ground. So if you compare two wheels that are exactly the same, but one has a narrow contact patch and the other has a wide contact patch, the one with the narrower contact patch is gonna feel more comfortable. Another benefit is that the wheel with less contact patch is gonna give you better range. Now the downside of a narrow contact patch is that they're not gonna grip the road as well as a wheel with a wide contact patch. Again, I'm talking about if you're comparing two wheels that are exactly the same. Wider contact patch, better grip. Narrow contact patch, patch, less grip. So for the people who say that these wheels do not grip well, there's some truth to that. But just in my personal experience, the grip is not great, but I feel like the way people describe them makes them seem like they're slippery. I wouldn't consider them slippery at all. I mean, unless you're riding on a wet surface, but then every wheel is slippery. But these wheels, suppose if you're carving really hard, you could slip out, but under normal circumstances on asphalt, I think they should be fine. I mean, if your priority is grip, these are not the wheels for you. If your priority is comfort without losing a lot of range, then these are good wheels to get. 
So how do I personally feel about them? Depends on what I want to do. For certain boards, I feel that they're a great fit. For example, the uh, Lycaon Swift. I think these are fantastic on the Lycaon Swift. Well, first of all, just aesthetically, I think they kind of match the look of the board. But beyond that, the Lycaon Swift, its main selling point is the range. So if you put on like really soft rubber wheels on the Lycaon Swift, you're just gonna, you're gonna eat up a lot of that range. If you put on cloud wheels instead, you'll still lose some range, but not nearly as much. And if you're using hub motors on the like high on Swift, you can get these uh, cloud wheel donuts. They do the same thing. Are they as soft as the normal wheels? Probably not. But if you're using hub motors, it's not like you're gonna have a choice. But I've tried them on this board and they certainly feel better than the uh, 90 millimeter hub motor wheels. I also use these wheels on the X-Way Wave, which is a short, stiff board. Now, I used to think that there's no way that I would put large wheels on a short board. That just seems kind of ridiculous. But I've actually changed my mind. I tried these on the uh, X-Way Wave and that's how I prefer to ride the X-Way Wave now. So, so with the X-Way Wave, I use that for like short errands. That, that's the board that I use the most, by the way. It's just more convenient to use because of its size and because of where I live. Like I live in Shanghai where it's um, kind of a crowded city. Like, with these wheels, it's just easier to ride on the sidewalks. It's just so much better to ride on the sidewalks compared to normal uh, smaller wheels. The sidewalks here have a lot of tiles and they're just really uncomfortable, especially if you're using hub motors. But with cloud wheels, sidewalks just feel much better. I mean, they're not gonna, they're still gonna be bumpy, but they're not gonna be like super jarring like before. So the compatibility of cloud wheel donuts. As far as I know, right now they work on any electric skateboard hub motor made by Hobbywing. So that includes anything from X-Way, the more recent Backfire boards, the uh, WowGo Knight, uh, like Hey on Swift, maybe some other boards that I can't think of right now. But you should double check with iWonder. In the future, maybe they'll make them for other boards, but I guess it kind of depends on their popularity. With Hobbywing motors, it makes sense because lots of different boards use Hobbywing motors. But with other brands, their hub motors are all a little bit different. So sorry, I didn't write a script for this, so I'm just kind of talking off the top of my head. <laughs> if this was helpful, please give this video a like. Subscribe if you want. Um, yeah. <laughs>